What's up, hamsters? Uneven Ranger here, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. When we last left off, we were about to head into the deep roads to search out for B. Yanka, I want to say her name was. <laughs> um, for a paragon, basically, that went missing. Now, off camera, I've done a bit of tactics, you know, stuff. Mainly with Alistair, to be honest, but I'm not very good with tactics. I've tried to do what I can, but we'll have to just see how the go. The fact that, you know, over 100 episodes in, I'm still fiddling with the tactics should say a lot about the game. Well, mainly it should say that I'm terrible at the game, but <laughs> I'm trying to avoid saying that. <laughs> Uh, where is it I need to go again, sorry? Oh, wait, wait, um, considering we're going to this Paragon Bianca, shouldn't we speak to the guy in the tavern that was sort of, like, ranting about her first? Uh, where was he? Where was the tavern? Is it here? Shape root. Uh, oh, it'll be in, yeah, it'll be in the commons, won't it? Okay. Alright, so we'll go see what he has to say. Maybe he'll have some useful information for us. Delighted. I'm glad you're delighted, Coven. I'm glad to be recording, actually. I haven't recorded Dragon Edge in a few days, and I've, I've got the withdrawal symptoms, you know? I was starting to see dragons and dwarves everywhere. I just needed to play. <laughs> Alright, uh, check the map quickly. Where is it? The armourer. I'm actually quite tempted to check in the armour, actually. There it is. Tapster's Tavern. Uh, I'm trying to remember. No, we've spoken to her, yeah. Okay. Let's... So Wait, this is the guy that had the um, hole in his wall, isn't it? <laughs> Oops. Uh, where is it? Oh, has it been fixed? Am, am I being mistaken? You huh. again? Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of wrecking another part of my shop? Nope. Sorry. Um. Uh, <laughs> awkward. Let me see what's in your store. Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Uh, let's see. Ooh, dragon bone. That's very nice, actually. The fact that we're even getting that level of equipment. Uh, I'm looking at these, thinking if there's anything I'd want, but... Uh, let's see, Alistair, he's got a great... Yeah, he's got Marix Blood, which is much better. Uh, Liana? Yeah, Wolf Killer's a lot better. Although it isn't... Hmm. That's actually quite a tough one, actually. Actually, <laughs> um, I should probably like see if I've got anything to sell. I don't think I have. Nah, a lot of arrows. I can sell the spare ice arrows. That's it. The Templar helm. Because I'm, I'm still tempted to make him, make Alistair a Templar. Right, if I just compare it to what he's currently using. Uh, it's not as good. It's just not as good. But I don't know. I just don't know, folks. Dwarven armor. Dwarven massive armor. Bloody hell. That's actually really nice. It's actually a lot better than Kaelin's stuff. Doesn't have as much physical resistance, but, you know, we could probably survive without it. Heavy metal shield. Alright, assuming that, that I got him the dragon bone armor. I'd need massive armored boots, which is Yeah, the twenty percent chance to dodge attacks, that's really useful. Alright. It's a tough one when it comes to equipment. I always want to give everyone the best equipment and I end up like being stuck on which ones to give them. It's a nightmare. Oh. 
I think Coven's already been drinking. I'm here for you. Oh, that's sweet. But I, I didn't, I didn't mean to click on you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I think Coven's already been drinking, considering the trouble he had getting up the stairs. Uh, let's see. Where is he? No. No. Is he not here anymore? I could have sworn he was here. Uh, let's speak to Cobber. Leave me be, Kinslayer. Oh. Okay then. Um. It, you're not. No. Okay. Oh, that's just beautiful. <laughs> That was beautiful. That was just beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's head out. As you desire. I do desire. Okay. I need to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go now. Uh, Dust Town. The Deep Roads. There it is. That's... Okay. Just past the Diamond Quarter. So it looks like we can't get his help. Fair enough. To be honest, I'm not really sure I wanted his help. He is kind of a drunk. Just thought he might have some useful information. Uh, game, are you okay? You seem to be lagging a little bit today. Don't you be do... I wonder if that's just a sign saying, don't be an idiot. These are the deep roads. Stay away. <laughs> there you are. I thought I'd spoken to a Grey Warden. But for some reason, I chalked it up to the drink. Can I help I you? I know you're down here to look for Bronca. That's and, a name, uh, Bronca. I need to ask a favor. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, you're Ogren, right? You remembered. <laughs> I'm sodding touched. I guess now that Sir Upright and Honest thinks my Bronca's still alive, you're not so quick to say I'm crazy, huh? But they haven't found Bronca herself. And that means whatever they've got, it's not enough if you don't know what she was looking for. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. Uh, don't I have enough armed lunatics following me already? <laughs> All right, yeah, that sounds fair enough, I guess. You know, pooling our knowledge and all that. You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void, the secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Carradin built it. And with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Keridan's cross. No one's seen that Taig for five hundred years. Uh, I've got a map. In fact, no, but why do you care so much about Bronca? Why? We were sodding married until she oh. left me and took our whole house into the deep roads on her mad quest for the anvil. It was a stupid move. If I'd been with her, she'd have made it back years ago. But I forgive her. Oh, dude, I'm I'm sorry. He haven't gave me a map. I can get you there. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. Um. Oh, I just put all the effort into, you know. Uh, I suppose I have to use him now, don't I? Oh, blast it. I'm sorry, Alistair. 
I, w I want you to be with us as well, but uh, I kind of don't have a choice in taking him. I could just not bring Liana, but then if there's any locked stuff, um, you know, no, I'll, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I love you, Liana, but you know, I, I need my, I need my brother with me, you know, my brother in arms. Let's uh, have a look at this guy then. Uh, he's a berserker. Oh, that's nice. All the berserker's stamina goes into a final swing. Oh, that's nice. Uh, bonus to health regeneration. And a bonus to damage. Hmm. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, he's got the Dwarven Resistance Racial Ability. And he's another two-handed guy. Well, at least there's another one, you know. <laughs> Alright. Let's have a quick look at you. Uh, you don't seem too bad. Dexterity sucks a bit, but... Let's see, you're using a Battle Axe. One for the ditch. <laughs> Tier 6 Heavy Armor. That's pretty good. I could probably get you better stuff, but for now, why don't you wear a silly hat? Oh god, no. No, 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 no. You are not wearing a silly hat. That is sillier even than I can handle. <laughs> um, let's put the lesser injury kit and some health pulses on your hotbar. And... I guess we'll have a quick look at your tactics. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Aggressive behaviour. And I'll sort them all out off camera some, at some time. Is there anything else I need to know? I don't think so, no. Okay. We'll probably get him some better equipment as we go along. Hello, Mines Commander. I'm sorry. Hello, Mine Commander. I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. Open your eyes, man! This Grey Warden is on a quest to find your paragon. Do I have to take your stinking head off? <laughs> what Ogden is trying to say is that we have permission from Desha Heremont. Ogden could have been a Desha for House Branca. I suppose he's the next best thing in both oh, well, and yeah. arrogance. That works. You may pass. I'd offer more assistance, but my command post is here. All of Ozama relies on us to hold this line. Um How far is it to Keridan's Cross? Your guess is as good as mine. No one's been there in centuries, but both Balin and Haramount had me looking just this week. Alright, uh I should go. Best of luck. Alright, so I'm guessing we're going to be dealing with a lot of dark spawn. That's going to be lovely. Oh well, at least I get a chance to, you know... Ooh, this is cool. What's the I... Oh, the I do come fake. Aww. Memories. Um, Keridan's Cross, please. Ah, oh, memories. <laughs> you forget just how, like... Big the underground, um, like kingdom actually is. Ozma's just one tiny city. Keridan's Cross. I can't believe Haramont actually tracked this. Uh, place who down. are these guys? This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Taig. Uh, what's so important about the Orton Taig? It's the home of Keridan. Paragon who made the anvil. He was an Orton before he founded his own house. And even then, he spent most of his time in their Taig. Branca figured it was the best guess for where the anvil was located. Uh, makes sense, I guess. What else do you actually know about the anvil? Like, okay, it, it's made to use golems, but okay. No one but Keridan ever really knew more than it had some kind of stone-blessed power. 
Every golem who ever ranged across the Empire was hammered on the steel of that anvil. But no one ever knew exactly how they were made. But Bronco was sure she could find out. Hmm. Alright, let's get going. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. <laughs> 